as well. Yeah, sweet. <laughs> I, I don't hear anything. Hold on. Hello. Hold on. Hold no, on. Nothing's hold on. Going hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Okay. Nothing's going on. Oh, there it is. Yeah. We're back. We're back in the room. <laughs> back in the room. <laughs> yeah. Is there anything behind us? Uh, no, we need we need to we need to work on that. We need a, like we, a potaholic pull up. We need exactly. We need some potaholics podcasting merch. 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 Swag. 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 <laughs> Swag and merch. Yeah, nice. I'm a potaholic. Are you one? <laughs> Yeah, nice. I think so. I think this this could be good. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Uh, but now we're talking tech talk. We are. We are talking it, tech talk. Still at the Rove downtown. Yeah, we've got a pretty epic view. Uh, well, this is the thing. We're That's looking, it. Yeah. We're looking right onto Dubai Mall and beyond. You've got the got Burj Khalifa. Khalifa hanging around in the background. Yeah. I don't think it gets any better than this. I don't no. think anyone's got a better podcasting no. environment than this. For sure. Yeah. And, you know, these guys invite us in open arms. Is the other thing That's I love. That's it. Yeah. It's, uh, sat down and had a great conversation with Naveen coming uh -huh. in, a uh, fellow Canadian, uh, which nice. is even cooler. Yeah. And uh, he's basically saying, "Hey, big fan fan of the programming. Glad that it's back." So, nice. first thing he does gets on to uh, YouTube, gets on to Anchor, actually great. iTunes, yeah. and Subscribe. and signs up. And he says, "Okay." Glad you guys are back. Nice. This is I've got my I've got my evening ride home That's covered. It. Booked. Yeah. Locked so. in. Cool. So I was really happy about that. Yeah. And we get to talk technology for, for a good it. hour. Good hour ago. Yeah. Hour ago. Interesting. Let's let's just jump yeah. into uh, automotive stuff for a second. Yeah. Interesting. The technology in vehicles today. Mm. You gotta love it yeah. because you mean know, I I've got a million things that are always going yeah. on with my yeah. Jeep. Yeah. Uh, mostly with the the tire pressure. Yeah, I get uh, that. Tire sensors. And yeah, and, yeah. and I, yeah. I you know this is the the great thing about technology that it yeah. measures it. The bad thing is each of the sensors in my Jeep are battery operated. You can't right. change the batteries and they only last for about five years. Perfect. Yeah, and so nice. now I listen to binging. Oh, so you got alarms going off all over the bing, place. Yeah. Bing. Yeah. Well, I had the traction. What was it? Traction control off alarm. Track link yeah. off. I mean, it all just kind of started going haywire. So I don't know what's going on with that. You never know. It's like got to grab got, Glenn and talk to him. You got what's going on? It's 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 a shame you didn't uh, you know cross paths in the parking That's lot. That's it. Actually, <laughs> I'm going to speak to the, the car talk guys as well afterwards because. When I was filling up with gas, I've got another problem at the moment, which is uh, the filter problem. So it keeps uh, cutting out the, yeah. the, the, the gas uh, pump. But every single um, attendant that I've, I've, you know, oh yeah, oh, always a problem, sir, with Chevy and GMC. Really? really? They're like, yeah, specifically the Yukon or the Chevy uh, Tahoe. Wow, wow, okay. So I was going to ask the guys if, uh, if this is an urban legend yeah. or if, it's, if there's any weight attached to it. Hmm. Uh, I, I was tailed today for a few minutes, mostly because I probably cut the guy off accidentally by a, <laughs> a Tahoe, yeah. a, a nice white Tahoe, as I thought, over yeah, opposite yeah. to yours. That's of course, it. it was being driven by a police officer. Uh, ah, perfect. <laughs> as I said, perfect. <laughs> teach you for cutting him off. <laughs> I, I, I didn't think I really cut him off, but then you know when I was when I did kind of come in and yeah. it was like, oh maybe that was a little bit close. Yeah. Then notice the beret on and thinking, yeah. yeah, this isn't good. <laughs> <laughs> Give you a wave and a bye. Away. But dr driving a, a late model Tahoe, so I thought that was that's yeah. that's a that's something to be said for the vehicles, isn't it? Mm. When they when they keep working like that. Or something. That was good. I got to remember not to take a big swig of coffee <laughs> before you ask so, me a question. Before so, you throw me under the bus. <laughs> <laughs> so two things to remember: you never eat before or while you're doing a show. Yeah. So I did a cooking show once that was deadly because yeah, yeah. the guy would always bring in food. Uh, yeah, Chef Andy, he'd good. bring in cake and you know all the good things that you don't want to be eating because then you got to talk and having any form of liquids because inevitably just as you're going yeah. to speak I'm gonna to throw it to you yeah sorry I'm highly unprofessional so <laughs> I'm gonna stick with my coffee <laughs> but at least people can this, this, not this, only can this, they listen to us they can watch us and massive continue. aggressive attacks on me continually <laughs> last week it was the website that we need to work on how, how, then, how is yeah, our no, work going good, it's good. <laughs> and then this week it's coffee yeah yeah professionals don't actually you know drink coffee or have any liquids around them because of all the equipment as well probably <laughs> like just to give it a bat and yeah, all of that kind of stuff. It's quite nice actually. I guess people get to see laid out what a podcast exists on the yeah, YouTube channel. And, and, yeah, and, you know, we, we I was actually talking with with Glenn because we what we yeah. do if if you're wondering is we sort of record we do not sort of we do record yeah. three podcasts back to back. That's it. Yeah. And one of the things that we were talking about was hmm maybe we should experiment with some Yeti mics okay. in that they do yeah, you, know, yeah, you can yeah. get everything and I've I've got a couple of those that I can okay, borrow cool. from the university so maybe we'll give those a try and see try. yeah see how it goes yeah great that could be interesting. I could actually probably run them into the mixer as well. Mm, okay. uh, the, the, you, if people are looking, A, you're, you're watching us, you're watching us on YouTube. So we've, hey, hi. Yep. 
<laughs> you can be animated. <laughs> but we're, we're wearing lapel mics for that. We're talking yeah. into uh, microphones that we use for the audio yeah. podcast. Yeah. So we're, we're, you know, someone's going to say, you guys are doing this really inefficiently. <laughs> <laughs> Why wouldn't you just use the lapel mics and, and take the audio? And I did mm. actually think about that. Yeah. And when I listened to the YouTube audio versus the audio that yeah. we're using for the podcast, these, the, you know, sure, S58s, uh, S57s mm -hmm. are what we're using. The quality of the sound is just absolutely superior to what I'm getting off the lapel okay. mics. Well, not the lapel mics are bad. So, so we're telling, we're telling everyone that what you, if you're watching it, it's inferior. Yeah, if you're watching it. Watching you're, or listening, because a lot of people yeah, play YouTube and listen. Yeah, so you're, you're getting good sound, yeah. but if you listen to the actual audio podcast yeah. as it comes in, and we clean up a little on the front and a little you bit You can hear back. my beard brushing yeah. against the, uh, <laughs> my, and your yeah. beard as well. Yeah, yeah, it's coming in nicely. It's and it, I noticed, yeah. I noticed uh, Intishan last week has a beard coming yeah. in. And Glenn is also going yeah, he's with, rocking the beard. He's yeah. walk, rocking the beard. So we're all following Since following suit. Need to have. Gonna yeah. need some beard oil soon. Yeah, yeah. That's beard true. balm. So. Yeah, you need some beard oil. Oil at your ah, length. Yeah. Okay. Oil for the short, balm That's for it. the long. Yeah. Okay. There we go. Excellent. <laughs> I'm gonna get a t-shirt when I print it up. <laughs> oil for the short, balm for the long. Okay. <laughs> Is they, I, they, they just come out of me naturally. It, yeah, it's, it's just there. <laughs> just lining them up. <laughs> oh, man. You know, what's going to happen is that this show is now going to get rated by YouTube as uh, uh, adult only. Adult content. <laughs> YouTube yeah. Red. Is it yeah. Red? I, I don't know. remember. I don't know how that works. Yeah. yeah. No, Red said streaming service. Okay. Yeah, we don't, get their, uh, we don't get that here, but it's a streaming which, service which, like Netflix. Which and, bums me out no, yeah. in a good way. Mm. Uh, but more... <laughs> <laughs> back, back to the R rating or eighteen. People are going to say, "Oh <laughs> man, I didn't know that was this kind yeah. of show." Yeah. Don't need to know about you but it, it, talking to my sons about things that they're yeah. buying on Amazon and using different things, and yeah. they're you know they're saying, hey, "You know, I can get I can get a dot for nothing, or hold on, I get, I'm, I'm finding this," and I'm just going, yeah. "Oh, get all that stuff." <laughs> it's yeah. like, you know, it's but, work around. Well, it's there is, and, and and at the end of the day, that both of my boys said, "Yeah, but you got great weather, Dad." So That's yeah, it. we're getting all the technology and things, but you got the great weather. And and by the way, still using the Surface, Surface. Go. We got another another week, week three, or so. right? Yeah, week three. Now, uh, add add a add, uh, bit of information to Amit Sagas. Yes. In the, in Saga or Saga. Saga? Uh, Amit uses a Surface. So he bought one. Yeah. Uh, because obviously, as we know, Amit's uh, Mac got stolen sadly in the states when he was in the states. But he picked up one of these. Um, Surface goes, and I can't tell you how much because it's did, scandalous. Did he, did he get a Surface Go or did he get a Surface sur Go? Okay, so he's got the same thing but that it, I'm but using. But it's scandalous how yeah. low price it is in I, the States. Tell us. <laughs> right, it's like 1500 bucks or something. Wow. No, less than that. Yeah. Uh, I want to say less than that. Anyway, it was, it was, it was yeah. a bit of a no-brainer. It was kind of like, yeah. uh, so he's, he's been getting used to um, there that. But, it, but it's not, it, it, as he said, he's, he, it's not a, a replacement for him at the moment. It's it, not uh, for the power stuff that he wants yeah. to use for Excel and right. building out presentations. It's not quite there. Really? Yeah. Okay. And then for an everyday use. Yeah. Yeah. So well, I, we'll I, get him on and he can tell us. Yeah. Well, so I've been using have it. a Surface uh, Go podcast. So I've been using it for three weeks. And for many of the, the tasks that I'm doing, it works fine. You know, one of the, the issues that I've run into is getting, and I've, because I usually use a trackpad. Yeah. And I don't know why you're not. There's a perfectly I, I, good trackpad. I know, but I've, I've been trying out the mouse. And mm. the big thing that I constantly forget is the double click on these mouses. Yeah. And the whole Windows world works on the double click. Oh, okay. Yeah, and yeah. you forget about that yeah. when you're not used to doing but that. But you can just set it up to one click. You know that. I didn't know that. <laughs> How do you do that? Search tech talk, uh, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, on Podolics. A couple of guys that are ah, interested in tech know I can about set that. tech. Where do I set that up? I got to go to settings and I, mouse. I did go into the mouse settings. I didn't see a single. Oh yeah. Is it? Is it um, yeah. You're one of these guys who goes, oh, I hate these left-handed mice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I see what you're saying. I yeah. Okay, I'm going to do that. Yeah, I'm going to do that. Okay, cool. Uh, the the thing, so I, I was using the device and I've been using it for notes and yeah. I've been using it for a little bit of editing. It, it works really well. Mm. Yesterday, yeah. 
I'm dropped it. No, no, I haven't dropped it. <laughs> <laughs> I, you know, we took it away to uh, Prague. We were away in Prague for a few ah. days. Took this away so with us. So the whole go, you were on the go. I was on the go with right, the go. go and then, yeah. number of people in the airport using surfaces or varieties of surfaces. Yeah. This is great on an aircraft. It mm. fits on your mm. desk well. Great when you're just sitting around and yeah. you're hooking. I mean, it, it, hooking into Wi-Fi in a hotel and then doing a little bit of work. This machine just functions mm -hmm. as it should. Small challenge if you're using the keyboard and you're not on a flat surface. So on your lap, it's fine. If you're yeah. on a duvet or something, right, a little okay. bit more of a problem. Okay. A little All bit right. of a challenge. Yep. But yesterday, uh, I was using Blackboard. So I'm doing some grading for my class, and yeah. I'm using my, my Mac for that. Mm. And, and I'm, I'm actually using a draw feature in Blackboard for grading so that I can just circle things and put a number and then write the okay. corresponding. And so I'm thinking, you know what? I'm going to go do this on the Surface Go. Mm. And I started to do it. And it's all the same stuff. It's all web activated, but that particular item, if I was just typing, it worked well. Mm. When I thought, okay, I'm gonna now use, I thought, the oh, finger? I wanted to use my finger with the touch screen. I wanted yeah. to give it the finger. Yeah. And nice. the, while well, the computer works well to do that, yeah. the program didn't work well to recognize the finger. But you were running it in Chrome or you were running yeah, it in? I was running it in Chrome. Oh, and okay. so, it, but it was working, mm. but for whatever reason, the program, if, if I used the mouse, it worked well. Yeah, yeah. If I used the touchpad, it worked yeah. well. If I used my finger to do it, yeah. it wasn't working well. Hmm. And I went, hmm, so I don't, I, don't I didn't. Don't use your finger. Yeah, the, so, don't use yeah. the finger. But <laughs> that was the whole idea. I thought, hold on, this is now going to save me even more time because I don't have to keep yeah, going back yeah. and forth. So I didn't try it in Bing. I didn't yeah. try it in Firefox. Yeah. I tried it in one browser. Didn't quite yeah. work. And I said, I'll experiment with this later. Yeah, yeah. I got to get this done. Yeah. But so that was one small one area. stumbling so, block. So, well, so what that said to me was, and at my first thought was, ah, I need the pen or I need a stylus. Ah, okay. And I didn't have one hanging around. So right. I couldn't experiment with, yeah. you know, even you can get them for like a, a Durham so that yeah. you can just use the back of a, a pencil. Stick. But they, yeah. they, a lot of pens now come with yeah. stylus backs. But I just didn't have one. Hmm. So that might actually worked okay. Yeah, okay. So right. I don't know if my finger was just, you know, giant. Yeah, clearly, we have talked to Dr. Jenna. Yeah, yeah giant, <laughs> giant fingers, uh, giant fingers, bike way they call it. So that being said, yeah, uh, charge is working well on this device. I just like it. It really works. Could it replace my Mac at this point? And I mm. set out to say, could I replace it for ninety yeah. percent of the stuff I do? Yes. Yeah. Um, hooking into a monitor would be is very easy, and I've yeah. done this at, at yeah. work. It, it We've well, got another week. Yeah, so who knows? See, by, we can see by what the end happens. of a week. The full, the full roundup next week. I'll tell you one thing. Mm. It's light. Yeah, and yeah. It's very it light. Yeah. I left the house one day with just it, and I'm yeah. kind of going, you know, three quarters of the way, you know, I'm already. Yeah, but I mean, you usually got a purse and a man bag and all sorts of like <laughs> it's not trinkets. A, I, right? I got that. Today I had three computers in the bag. <laughs> trinkets. <laughs> trinkets. <laughs> You, like, you sound yeah, like I'm a salesman of some sort. Or traveler. <laughs> <laughs> you got these things hanging off of you. <laughs> Beads. Beads. <laughs> Throw down a sheet and I've got some Eiffel Towers for exactly. sale. Yeah. <laughs> Can you imagine? <laughs> you never run out of money. You could just sell your wear. <laughs> exactly. That's, that's the idea. So, anyway. Uh, uh, Uber. What yeah. is going on? This is the coolest thing I've seen in a long time. I like this, yeah. I, I, what a great idea. Mm, yeah. This is a loyalty program that they've uh, incentivized you not to check Lyft or other local competitors. Yeah, well, I mean, I think it's smart, isn't it? Because they, for, for many years, they've been the only option. But now, I mean, even if you look in the local market, we've got obviously Kareem here. Yeah. Um, in Saudi, there's actually three other competitors. Really? Um, that, are, that but are, are they all making up. money? Like, do you I, think? Or I met I met one of the the smaller operators a couple of weeks ago, Jitex. Um, no, sorry, a couple of months ago, Jitex, and uh, you know they're they're doing well. I mean, they're they're, they're kind of. I think it's something in Jeddah alone. There's twenty five thousand Uber rides a day. That's pretty significant. Yeah. So I mean, it's it, it's big, um, and obviously in Saudi, you you get Saudis. You know, Saudis will drive you and pick you up in, yeah. in the Uber. So um, there's which is kind of cool. Which is great because some is, of them are going to have some really cool yeah, cars, and some of them are going to have some really beater is, cars. Oh, it oh was your a, Crown Vic. It was epic. I was oh, in my uh, Crown Vic. <laughs> I was in brand new like Escalades, and you know, because you're just talking to people. But um, yeah. yeah, I mean, it will, hopefully we'll kind of get to that model here in, in the UAE as well. But yeah, they've got they've got a competition. I mean, their biggest kind of global competitor is is Lyft. But when you go down to India, there's there's some big players down in India. Mm. Funnily enough, they were saying that region. One of the um, the fastest growing uh, places is Egypt. 
Really? And they've just rolled out uh, Egypt Mini Coach, I think it's called. Um, and they're running. Egypt Mini Coach? Yeah, they're doing Uber Mini Coaches. Um, and they're trying to kind of help with some of the congestion because you, you've been a car, right? Yeah. Yeah, it's fun, right? <laughs> yeah. Um, so well, three lane uh, into nine. highway is, is nine. Yeah, yeah. And it's impressive. They it don't is. Crash I into don't, each other. But, one, uh, I, the last time I was there, yeah. the, in those nine lanes, there was a pickup truck with a sofa on the back being delivered and two people sitting on it. <laughs> at night and I say to the guy who's driving our, our yeah, ride yeah. I say uh, headlights maybe and he goes uh, he looks at me it's not the desert <laughs> that, yeah. <laughs> yeah I always love the manhole uh, oh. the, where there's no manhole covers and yes. people just know to move out of the way it's not it's like, like you know, anywhere else in the world you get taken out but uh, so interestingly enough they tried they're, they're, they're trialing this uh, mini I think it's called mini coach or uber coach in, in, in Cairo and, cool. and Egypt but um, yeah this is this is cool isn't it you know giving you uh, an incentive to either upgrade to a nicer car or access premium support. I'm interested to know what premium support is. Yeah, me too. Uh, because what does that their mean? support is dire here mm. from a Twitter perspective. Mm. Um, but it's also, it, what I found quite interesting was flexible cancellations. Well, this um, is also a neat which is, thing. Which is quite interesting. Because yeah. I met a guy in the States who would regularly cancel Ubers based on what car they were driving. Oh, and, I know and, a lot of people. And, and you get a charge though for doing that. Yeah, well, no, under under a certain amount of time, yeah. you're, you're okay, you're safe. But I just, I think you get a reputation. Well, you know, and I guess, you're, I guess you're that, that guy that, that kind of always cancels. I mean, the yeah. only person I've genuinely ever cancelled on was I was in uh, in San, San Diego. I just landed and yeah. um, I Uber X and and the car was like. Uh, it was first of all Jesus was picking me up which I thought was pretty impressive which always looks good Jesus is <laughs> yeah. all right um, and then it was some beat up I mean beat up <laughs> old like two-seater uh, Toyota Hilux thing and I was I had, well, I, had I, I, I had two cases and I was like uh, and 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 and, and he was that close that I saw him come in and I think other people must have cancelled on him because I was like, click, you know, because I just, yeah. yeah. I'd just been off the back of a 20, 23 hour journey. Like, I at least wanted AC. <laughs> so yeah, that's the only time, one and yeah. only time I've actually cancelled on, on an Uber driver. Okay. So uh, yeah. yeah, but yeah. no, I, I like this. I mean, I mean, would it incentivize you to kind of use Uber around I, someone else or? Maybe, yeah. I, I think as soon as I, I get those options and there is yeah. there is that reward, I mean, Look, hotel-wise, I typically only stay at hotels that I'm, get, I'm in the incentive programs for. Yeah. I fly on incentive programs, and yeah. not that I get to cash in very often, but yeah. you know, I, I've moved up a level. I, yeah. I fly uh, the Air France Sky Team Group, All right. and I've moved up to silver. Nice. What does that give you? Nothing. I was going to say, does it get you <laughs> no, luggage? No, no, does no, it get yeah, you luggage no, yeah, you in know the what? destination? You, you know what it gets me? It gets me a priority check-in. Ah, oh, that's perfect. And so, that's what we need. And if you're flying through France, yeah, that's what we need. Sky priority means when I'm doing the customs line, yeah, yeah, I go to the front of the line. Front. So yeah. for me, that's in, and I, I think it actually gives me an extra bag as well. It's worth so, it. So worth instantly, it. yeah, yeah. And yeah. so we we constantly we will make any choice to yeah. fly Sky Team members to get even the smallest amount of points. And yeah. and the same with hotel stays. We stay in the same group all the time. I'm different with hotels. I have to be honest. I'm more with flights for sure. I'm Emirates all the way. Yeah. Um, but but. But hotels actually not recently because I've been mean, trying to check out smaller kind of boutique, well, like, like uh, the Rove know, where we are, yeah, the Rove where we are. So, Which you know, I'm those, sold those when I walked in here. Brands. When I walked in here yeah, today, yeah. I, I was sold. Right, just if you've been to any of the Roves, yeah. A, their Wi-Fi is lightning speed. Yeah, they make it easy fast. to get on. There's yeah. no, I didn't have to click a bunch yeah. of buttons, boom, I'm on. But yeah. just the number of people in the ground floor lobby yeah. having meetings on laptops, on yeah. phones, yeah. there was life. Yeah, I, yeah there it, is. It, it, it was a totally yeah. different I think they're feel. part of the Let's Work program. Okay, could you know, be. Let's yeah, Work, yeah. the co-op office yeah. stuff. Yeah. Um, but also what's interesting is if you get a chance to stay in one of the rooms, Which they've, I got, done, yeah. uh, they've got some cool things like you can, you know, they've got the, the smart TV so you can shoot um, your phone across to the TV if you want to watch. They've got USB and uh, HDMI points in the wall. See, that's you know, cool. Just next to your bed so you can kind of watch uh, watch nice. TV whenever you want and stuff. So yeah, yeah. They, they definitely thought about them. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I mean, that's all. They're tech, they're tech and that's what we like. Yeah, so Uber Rewards. Yeah, Uber hopefully, Rewards. Hopefully Not here, yeah. Uh, I hope it's coming um, But soon. I mean, in all honesty, we, we access things here like Uber Copter and things like that that aren't even available in the yeah. States. There we go. So, so we got things. We, we got things. Yeah. Our way, you know. Another thing that they fired our way was the, the fact that you can buy repurposed or refurbished yeah. Apple products. Now, I knew you could do this because I've seen it oh, okay. on, on a few different sites that I go to. Yeah. 
but I haven't seen it as aggressively promoted as and and the, the possibility of doing that as you as you and posted. through Apple and through Apple yeah and this is I don't an Apple store I've only seen this uh, a few times and uh, something that I thought was kind of interesting yeah Be but what the other thing is when I went in and started poking around to see okay well what do we got here What's, yeah yeah the, the prices weren't that dramatically different no, I know that's, 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 that's what I, was, what <laughs> I, I thought it was just me and I thought well hold on a minute how, how old is this thing like I mean you know it's 300 dirhams off. Why would I bother for the sake of 90 bucks? You so know? I wondered about that. Yeah. And I wondered where are these products coming from? It was the other question. I'm like, sure, you yeah. know, someone's traded in a, a MacBook yeah, Pro. Yeah, I mean, there is there is people that genuinely just trade up the whole time. Yeah. So that, you know, you, you look at a very short, short shelf life, I guess. Yeah. There's also some, I think there's a policy that they have to give you a new phone if there's something wrong with it. Right. So, you know, there's bound to be phones where they have some issues that are, are quite easily fixable. And that goes into X stock, I guess, as well. So to all intents and purposes, I think it's not necessarily you and me using you know, a laptop for, for, for kind of six months and then handing it back. I think it's more of perhaps some had some issues or whatever. Yeah. I mean, I wonder what's going to happen to our friend, the Surface. When you kind of give it back, uh, the know. journalist going to get to thumb it for four weeks and then, uh, and then you know, hand it back and it will end up on the Microsoft well, refurb site. Well, that's what I was wondering. What do they do with these things? Because yeah. literally, they, you know, I they, yeah, I'm month giving is, it back. My month is a serious amount yeah. of time. I've, I've invested some time with yeah, it. Yeah, you just got to hope that they forget. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, they keep reminding me. I'm already getting you're reminders. On day, you're on day 22. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, so anyway. Would yeah, you, no, I would. Would you I go mean, there, though? No, I would. I mean, I, I'd, At least you know, give it a look. Yeah, give it a look and see what's on there. You may be lucky enough to find something that's, that's there. I mean, interestingly enough, I, there's, there's a huge market here for secondhand, you know, a lot, right? Because it's a transient environment. You see all these pages online that, you know, and classifieds are huge, obviously, in this part of the world. And I think people, their comfort level is, is, yeah. is kind of more now. I just think there's always a bit of nervousness attached to electronics. Yeah. So if, at least if you're well, buying it's, it comes from, with a warranty. And it exactly. comes with the warranty. It comes with a warranty and you're buying it from the distributor, well, yeah. the, the company itself, I think. I think that is it. <laughs> what did you do? It's got electric <laughs> That, I touched that. There's a, there's a shock. Yeah, there's a, oh, that's yeah, not good. It's like licking a battery. Okay, got to yeah. fix that. That's, yeah. uh, it's not supposed to uh, electrocute you. No, Yeah. thanks. thanks. Yeah, thanks. That's good to know. See, so passive aggressive. <laughs> yeah. Everyone yeah, knows you're trying to electrocute you. cord away from your computer. It is away, isn't it? It's touching it. Yeah. I, I don't know. The, the Macs are awful with the right. Yeah, well, right. you get shocks off of these. Mm -hmm. The older they get, you get the edge. So that's not just me. No. Yeah, when it's plugged in and charging. Yeah. You were like, ooh, what's that? Ah, yeah. Yeah. Okay, so, I thought that was that's just... That's what I just got on this thing. <laughs> All right, that's yeah. good to know. Uh, the, the other, the, the, this cool camera that... Oh, uh, man. What, what is this? Have you seen these before? No. Okay, so, so we use them um, in the office, these Osmo things. Um, so it's O-S-M-O, right? O-S-M-O. Yeah. And um, if you look up Osmo, it, it, they started off where you could... Uh, use, use them with an iPhone. Right, so I remember, basically yeah, iPhone that's, that's the only way I remember it. Yeah, them. exactly, and yeah. you kind of do that. I mean, now they've come up with this crazy uh, gimbal, which is, I mean, it's almost like a cigar shape, yeah. right? I'd yeah. say shape yeah. and cigar, um, and, and it kind of records in 4K, which, uh, which, which is obviously old hat now, because they just trialed the new 8K TV in Japan yeah. uh, last but, week. But yeah. still, you try working but, with 4K, it's, exactly. it's a huge yeah. file. So, so, I mean, this is, this, it weighs 116 grams. Um, so it's very light. It's very light, fits in your pocket or, you, or your man bag. Um, and it's, <laughs> that's nice to have there. Sorry. And there's a whole load of there's a whole load of uh, attachables. So you know they got they got it hooked into your dog, and it's yeah. similar to uh, kind of GoPros where you can have it on your helmet and this kind of thing. But obviously the beauty behind it is that when you move the gimbal, um, it's beautifully still. Yeah. I mean the only thing that I I thought that they were almost not not trying to hide. Um, they, it was kind of the the, the, the actual camera and the gimbal itself. The little viewfinder looked like a postage stamp. Yeah. So I think if you're you oh, know, it's a tiny. young buck, it's you're okay. But if, yeah. you, if you're getting on like us boys, I think yeah. it, holding the camera that far away from you. To, but but straight away you can obviously um, put, attach the iPhone to it, um, and then obviously use your screen from the device, uh, which is pretty cool. And it, and and it seems like they've launched with everything. So yeah. they got an undercover, uh, underwater, not yeah. undercover. That's uh, underwater, else. but but they got an yeah. underwater. They got an <laughs> That's underwater. a different show yeah, exactly, yeah. again. <laughs> they got an under underwater um, uh, kind of uh, what do you call it? 
uh, underwater, you know, gadget. Yeah, yeah, so you yeah. can plug it in. And it looks, it's almost like on a stick, like a GoPro stick. So it's waterproof. Um, like I said, you've got wearables and crash helmets and all that kind of stuff. So yeah. I love the look of this. I just, um, there's, it's not often nowadays, actually, to be honest with you, that I get massively excited to the point where I want to buy something. I think there's there's things that I see and it's cool tech and I, I like it, yeah. but how's that I Apple, felt like I how, wanted How's that Apple Watch going, by the way? Yeah, it's good. Um, so <laughs> you still don't own one, do you? Unbelievable. I've, I've got. I think I've got until Christmas, right? Didn't I get myself until Christmas? Uh, no. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I did. I'm pretty sure. Don't listen to what you say. Um, it, You're it, never going to get one. You realize I, that. You're going to wait I, for I, 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 It's public. It's public Apple now. Watch 5. To, It'll be Apple Watch 5. It's public now. I need to. I need to throw it out there. Um, I mean, the, the, the fact that Amit came over to the dark side with a, a Microsoft product is, is no, still... forced to. Forced to. Because <laughs> his, 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 first no choice, his first choice was to go Microsoft. What does that tell you? He's no, going, no. It's just it's the cost. <laughs> I'm telling you. The price was like... A throwaway price. I think say. it was just it was just awesome, and he realized this Possibly. is really there is that. <laughs> <laughs> so it's sixteen fifty at the moment. This thing locally, that's not bad. Yeah. So uh, you buy or whatever you buy. This is the Osmo. Yeah, Osmo. So that's you pretty can, good. Uh, you can order it now and get it for December thirteenth, whatever that is. They must be pulling it in from the states. Yeah. Um, oh yeah, it's got here power converter required because it's US electronics. Right. So they're bringing it in from the states. So. Uh, yeah, I, it, it's it's out there, and I'd recommend that you might put it on on your Christmas list. Yeah, sounds yeah. really cool. It's on mine, that's for sure. We'll see if you get that. No, it is Christmas <laughs> list. It's different, right? <laughs> presents you get it's just buying stuff for yourself that i think once you become a parent maybe, maybe you, you're stop, gonna... you forget you, you forget about yourself you're just like well that looks nice and then you can't buy the kids something so you're at that stage now where you're still supporting the kids but you are buying yourself and treating yourself things yeah not so much <laughs> your boys are listening to this right we'll yeah. have to yeah yeah Did you hear that your dad's not buying as much as he wants to uh, i want to <laughs> jump into uh the 31 tech predictions from yeah. Inc. for 2019 what do you think i i so what I want to do is I want to go through some of these, but I also cool. want the idea that we're going to come back to these uh, next year next and take year, a look yeah. and see yeah, where, yeah. where we, so we've got to remember to do that. Mm. But, you know, uh, Amazon moving into hospitality is number one on their list. Yeah. yeah, absolutely. I can see them. Why not? Yeah, yeah. I think they're already ready to be there. Yeah. I, yeah, I mean, I, I think it's, um, they've already, so in the States, obviously, you know, Amazon, we just see as this e-commerce platform here. Yeah. But it's an it's an absolute beast in the states, um, you know. And they've started to you know dip their toes into handyman services, um, cleaning services in the states. So yeah. you can you know get a handyman through Amazon in the states. Yeah. Can you imagine? Um, you know, get ratings and reviews. They've already got the logistics. Through. They've exactly. already got the cloud computing. Yeah, they've got delivery. They've got they're doing you know all. everything. Yeah. So and they've obviously they've 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 looked at and and the retail and gone we'll have some of that and bought into Whole Foods. There's no reason why they can't apply the same technology to restaurants yeah, or I think hotels. It's I think it's coming. Um, yeah, it's, it's, and they've got, they got cash as well, right? That's the other they thing. Can, they've got the ability to just go, okay, thanks very much. We'll, yeah. uh, we'll buy out that small hotel chain or that small group. Mr. Bezos, yeah. is, he's really got, he's yeah. worked this model to a fine T. He's got the right people working for him, and it allows him to keep you know, innovating and inventing. Yeah. Yeah. Sometimes it's not even necessarily in, uh, innovation. He's inventing new ways yeah. to apply these products and, yeah. and to apply, apply the exactly. services that yeah. he's already got the, the foundation and, and the skills in. So it's, it's kind of cool. Uh, cyber attacks is number two. They say it's gonna move into the real world. Mm. Yeah, I think we're pretty close to that. We'll, we'll see. I yeah. think that's a, um, you know, there's so much going on in that that neck of the woods. Uh, consumer success will be the new growth for startups. Yeah, uh, shouldn't that always be the? the You'd hope so. so <laughs> I, I wasn't sure about that one. I thought, okay, hold yeah, on. Yeah, no, I, I mean, look, some of these are, you know, I, we're already there. Yeah. And then some of them, I think, um, I think, uh, you, you know, it's, it's going to move into that. I, I found it quite interesting. Um, five, which was workplace will evolve. Yes. Um, and I don't know if you read about this real estate company. Um, in the past week, I th I'm not sure if I shared it or not, but I should have done. There was a real estate company, and they have over 300 employees, and they live and work on an island, a virtual island. <laughs> yeah. uh, they hold meetings, but none of them have an office. Right. They all work remotely, but they're essentially go to work in a virtual office every day, yeah. uh, which I thought was remember we was talked about this very smart. Ten years ago, this was going to be the thing, and it yeah. didn't quite work. But now, with mm -hmm. all the workspaces that yeah. are available and the, the, yeah. the cooperative work environments that are out there, and mm. it, this is yeah, much, I think, real, I think much some, more real. Sometimes, you know, in, in the notion of people working from home or remotely in this part of the world is, 
is uh, is a tough pill to swallow for some employers. Yeah. Um, you know, there's just They're, this they mindset. Want to see, yeah. yeah, it's just this mindset that wanting to, to kind of come in and come out. Um, you know, as 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 far as that, but um, I think you know there's, there's far more individuals working remotely and I think especially if you've if you've kind of engaged with any of the cloud-based or SaaS platforms right um, out there and you've talk, spoken to one of their salespeople in, inevitably you're talking to a guy on a webcam yeah. and he's got the dog <laughs> running around the background he's, he's in a room he's in his study he's in a front room yeah. and that, that's his office yeah. you know and it's, it's kind of you know, years ago, you might think, well, it's a bit unprofessional and that's a bit, but it doesn't really matter. I mean, yeah. you know, the, the, the channel of communication now has enabled us to have those virtual workspaces where before we, we really yeah. couldn't. I was in a meeting the other day doing exactly that, yeah. talking with some folks from IBM, and there were three of us in three different parts of the world. Yeah. Notes were being put up online. We're having yeah. a conversation. We had 30 minutes to do it, so we yeah. knew we had a timeline, so there was yeah. no wasted wastage, and yeah. it worked. Yeah, it and does, yeah. the ability, you know, I, I, I literally sign into someone's private little space. Yeah. So, They've sent an invite. I click, yeah. and I'm there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, wow. the, the rooms and everything you can kind of blow out, yeah. and uh, yeah, I mean it's frustrating here because a lot of those services are blocked. Um, yeah. So I mean, yeah, I mean, yeah. and there's that that's annoying. Um, but I mean, you know, those those hangouts and and kind of those rooms that you can just jump into and jump out of. And some people hang out in there all day. They'll they'll kind yeah. of hang out it's in a break room, and it's kind of you know, oh, Andrew's in the break room. I go in there and have a chat with him. You know, yeah. and, and you can. So I think that's I think neat. I like the idea of it. You know, number eight was soft skills will become the differentiating factor, and I yeah. think this more than ever. Mm. You Knowing how to use things like Adobe Spark and mm. it's, it's the simple skills. You know, we use Anchor. To, to podcast yeah, and yeah. we record it and then we load it up but yeah. you can do anchor off of your phone yeah, yeah exactly. and if you're if you want to do it off of your device you can go into the anchor platform create your own podcast yeah they've got all sorts of stock sound that you can put in for yeah. breaks and intros and then put your you can sort of block in all your pieces yeah. it'll create the whole product let you listen to it you say yep i want to do it publish Click. it yeah and you know, some say oh, it sounds really hard. Is it? No, it's not really hard. Yeah. So it's it's having those soft skills of a knowing where to find the tools, yes. Canva, yeah, yeah. Wix, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Adobe products that are free. When I'm talking Spark, yeah, yeah. People are, they think that they're super difficult to use. Not necessarily, but no. it's knowing what to do with them. Look, I mean, obviously, you know, Nixa we're involved in in designing websites and uh, and have been since 2005 as part part of the business and a key part, but. Uh, you know, I, I got to be honest, I jumped on Wix a few weeks ago and blown away how easy it is to build a website. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and, and it's not, got, and not, you know, not, I mean, a simple kind of, you know, corporate site and that kind of yeah. thing, not into the technicalities, but if I wanted to, I could fire up an e commerce, I could, you know, do You could have it within 15 minutes. You're up and yeah, running yeah, with, with, yeah. A, with your own personalized URL. That's it, yeah. yeah. That you got through. I mean, it's, it's got yeah, so much easier. Yeah, where is potaholics.com? Yeah. Yeah, but find us <laughs> with, with a K. Potaholics with a K. Mate. Where is potaholics.com? <laughs> <laughs> Um, yeah, no, true. I, I thought I, I thought the other one that popped up as well, voice text, not going to kill the keyboard and display because yeah. there's been a big talk about obviously voice control, yeah. uh, you know, from that side of things. And um, I, I, it, it kind of happens seamlessly now for me. I, I just mainly I use the, the 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 one in the kitchen. Have kind of a little Amazon dot and Alexa in the kitchen, and you know that's the morning uh, news. That's the kind of music, you know, uh, sports updates or whatever. Um, and it's just voice control, but I still, you know, I'm not going to. I can't see a time where I'm dictating emails. Yeah, no, uh, I, I may. I, um, there may be a time. I don't know. I haven't gotten um, into that, but I know people who do it. Yeah, I, I'm just. It, it just doesn't work. For I me. don't know why I don't do it. I yeah. mean, because to be honest with you, I'm the guy that puts up a picture of a biscuit and talks about it for two hours. So perhaps I should. Uh, perhaps I should dictate my. Uh, yeah, my. Uh, I'm, I'm getting into WhatsApp voice more yeah which again uh, is you you've sent me three or four today which doesn't make any sense because just call me but for some I know, reason i know it's just some like, reason i'm just gonna send these. in fact today's been one of those whatsapp voice messages That's i've it, been yeah. mes voice messaging i've been messenger messaging people just with voice yeah. today i just today now, do you do you listen to those whatsapp messages like this because <laughs> that's what i find myself doing for whatever reason, I don't know why, if I press play, I have to hold it right up to my ear. So I don't um, know. And I can hear it. I can hear your voice, but I just want to go like this. Yeah, no, I don't do yeah. that. Yeah. I see, you see a lot of people walking around like this. 
<laughs> they in the mold. I always think, I always think they're eating food, sushi yeah, off their like phone this. or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah so. I don't know. It's kind of weird. Yeah, get your mic fixed. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yeah, put, a, put a headphone in so you exactly. can talk into the microphone and away you go. It's that simple. Yeah. Uh, number 13, com companies will hire more candidates from non-traditional educational backgrounds. Yeah. I, I see this coming. Definitely, yeah. I'm, yeah. I'm talking with just a couple of uh, headhunters recently about who are they hiring. Mm. And they're saying, look, we're hiring people increasingly based on personality and do we think they're going to fit. They don't yeah. want jerks. And they don't necessarily need the person who has got yeah. uh, the the big coding background or yeah. something. If it's if it's a task we can, you know, so coding might be a different thing. But yeah. if it's a task that they can learn yeah. in a reasonable amount of time, and we can incentivize that learning, yeah. well, those people are willing to do it. I want some, and I I you know, remember years ago I got a job doing, I, you know, the, I was building window frames. Mm. So I was in university. I was I was working yeah. on my PhD. And I asked the guy I, when, I, when I was leaving, when I was done, I said, why yeah. don't you hire me? And he yeah. goes, I figured you'd be able to learn quick. Yeah, exactly. He, yeah. Says, I, and yeah. I said, he said, you have enough education. I figured yeah. if you could get that far, you'd probably learn. You'd be all right, yeah. And I went, okay, good. Yeah. Said, I wondered, I'm, I'm, trying to, I'm trying to imagine a, a scenario that, you know, 20, 30 years down the road here where you've got the likes of Google and you've got the likes of, you know, uh, Facebook and all these boys now saying that you don't, we, we, you don't need a degree. Yeah. You, you don't just come straight, you don't need to go to college, you can come, you can you know, learn and on the bounce, you can yeah. come in, not a problem. I'm just wondering how that looks in, in kind of 30 years yeah, time when, when you still need to go to school to well, become a professor but, or, 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 or a doctor. But or, don't you think you some, some roles, so I think you're going to have that stratification, yeah. but you, know, you can learn a lot from lynda.com. Yeah, true, true. Yeah. And there's a lot of a lot of these things. Yeah, and Khan Academy and, yeah. and all these kinds of things. Yeah, and, I, I, and, and LinkedIn and, and other things. But you places. wonder, like, because we've, we've obviously still grew up in that environment where, right. look, if that guy's going to teach you this, he, he needs to know this and yeah. also he needs to have a you know a couple of letters after his name and <laughs> yeah. perhaps you know one before I want to know that he's been through yeah, the exactly, mill like right? everyone and, else. And, yeah. and, you know, it, and, but I'm wondering if that's because of our environment. So now kids today, in 20, 30 years time, you know, when they're being educated, who's educating them? Yeah. Is it, is it, you know, a physical individual or is it, you know, Watson? Yeah. That's, that's kind of got this huge, you yeah, know, yeah. knowledge it's, associated to it's it. It's going to be so, interesting. I don't know how, uh, how our parents coped without Google. Yeah, I don't some know. of the questions that my son's asking me now, I'm like, uh, let me, uh, let's ask Alexa. Yeah. No. <laughs> I just, I think my dad just made it up. It's yeah. just, no, it's just like he must have done because dad always had the answer. So, and he wasn't running over to the library and looking yeah. up. I mean, obviously he's an intelligent man, but I think sometimes it may have just been an answer. Yeah, I, I think parents, generally speaking, I mean, there was, there, were, there used to be a lot of that. Yeah. Now keeping ahead of your kids is hard because <laughs> exactly, yeah. How do you think you do that? What do they do? They just turn on YouTube. Exactly. How many contents are? There? Uh, five, six, right? Five, six. Uh, let's go to YouTube. Well, I just watched the YouTube video and told me, oh right, okay. Five uh, G. Yeah. Do you really it's in think? China, right? Yeah, but do you really think that it's going to roll out? I mean, here they're talking the five G's coming. I don't know. I, don't I mean, know. I think I who's going to use it? I just don't get it. No, but in places like um, Saudi where a lot of reliance is on the mobile network for you yeah. know, internet uh, connectivity, I think that faster internet speeds are, are going to be um, you know, important to that. But, but it, the challenge you face is with, okay, you've got a 5G network and I can download at incredible speed, but I'm limited to 10 gigs a month. Yeah. Well, so, that's I mean, the other side, right? you know, this is this is <laughs> like, uh, You're killing okay. me. You're oh, killing I, can watch, me. I can watch Netflix streaming, you know, without it buffering. Yeah, but I can't because, you know, I can only get 10 gigs. And what's interesting in the States and the UK is that they partnered up with um, telco providers and, and, you know, you can watch unlimited Netflix, for example. Um, so you couldn't, you couldn't go on there and download 400 movies a month, but you could basically stream as much Netflix or sports yeah. that you want to. Yeah, um, and because all of their packages are based, you know, Verizon on, you know, you're on the commute and you miss your game, you know, you can watch the game, all that kind of thing. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. it's kind of cool. Yeah. I mean, it, I think there's a lot of, as we just said, there's a lot to work out and to figure out different countries, different providers, different uh, paywall schemes, yeah. uh, different, uh, you know, there's just a lot of things you got to figure out. And yeah. I don't know. I, I don't, uh, everyone's saying 5G is going to change everything. I don't see that. No, I don't think so. I mean, uh, you, you know, yes, it's, it's faster, but I mean, 
do, you, did we notice the leap from 3G to 4G? No, I, I don't know. I mean, yeah, I you know, at the so. end of the day, what am I doing? I'm, I'm, I'm. Again, here we can't, we can't do video conferencing. We can't right. do video calls. There's no FaceTime. There's so it's almost a mute point here, yeah. right? If if we're sitting in the UK or the States or, or wherever where it's wherever else in the world where you, where video video calling is just huge now, yeah. right? Um, I, and know, I noticed that when I was yeah. away, the number of people who were walking around FaceTime. Yeah, that's it. It's just normal. I, I, it, yeah. was, it was insane. You know what the other thing yeah. I noticed? And this is a big change. Uh, the number of people using Google Maps. Yeah. And yeah. I, all I kept thinking was, man, Google is collecting a huge <laughs> amount of data <laughs> on yeah. what direction people are walking, yeah. what are the key paths, how yeah. long it takes people to get places. Yeah. It, was, it was insane. But mm. you know the other problem was with that we were running into, because we were using Google Maps, yeah. is we were using them on an iPhone phone 6s okay and the gps coordinates were just a little yeah, bit yeah. off and I, I find that depending on where you are i don't know if you in new york with the buildings i've got lost on google maps before well that's it we got you lost just, we, yeah just, we were trying to off. find a restaurant yeah. and it was off yeah. by about 100 meters yeah it's enough so, to annoy you yeah so you know we're trying to find a place we couldn't find it you're there you're there <laughs> i'm so, not there i'm not there i can't find it <laughs> And That's so, when you go to Street View and then yeah. you look around. Well, we had, to, we had to use different things, yeah, and, yeah. and Street View was the key. Yeah, yeah and exactly. Which you don't think of doing, but it was, yeah. but it was just the, you know, the days of people having a map and carrying around a guidebook, gone. the lonely planet. They're gone. Like, I, I remember uh, our good friend, uh, Kelly Jones. We were in oh, yeah. Germany, and I'd, I just got the new Nokia N95. Oh, and uh, we were going to walk from the convention center, I think, to a uh, popular part of town. Um, and uh, and we challenged each other. He had a map, and I had Nokia Maps. Yeah. <laughs> and, and I started using it, and then I got an SMS from a Tesla at the time that said, "You've just spent two hundred dirhams." I went, "No," and switched it off. So he was laughing. So yeah, the, the that day the map won out. Yeah. 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 And, I've well, forgotten about that. But that's but, the, but that's the other side too. You, you yeah. land somewhere. A you know we were using a, an, an Atisalat account yeah. where we had the roaming package yeah, yeah. that you paid so much a day. So it, it was just really easy yeah. because I didn't have to change yeah. numbers. Exactly. Boom, yeah. and it's yeah. done. And there was more than enough storage for yeah. us to, to yeah. do that. You know, bandwidth. So it was great. what went to you get your bill? Let's see. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, so my thing was, I didn't go with any of those packages. I had the, I always have a roaming package so I can get incoming yeah. stuff. Yeah. Uh, but I, I was just using Wi Fi hotspots. Right, okay. So you end up yeah. in a Wi Fi hotspot. You're taking a look at things. Okay, yeah. here we are. Download that bit of the map and yeah. away you go. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah you can off download and offload maps now, can't yeah. you? Yeah. Yeah, they've got it for different. I got an update on mine the other day, but I think it's different if you've got a. Definitely on Android, the maps are better because there we go. you get updates more, whereas on the iPhone, it's yeah. kind of like a bit of a throwaway. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I was looking, actually speaking to Android, uh, looking at the Google Play Best of Awards for 2018, where they just sort of look at you know, which apps got downloaded the most, what, uh, yeah. what, what people were looking at. Which ones have you got? Uh, you know, this was kind of the, the thing. So uh, YouTube TV, I've, mm -hmm. I've looked at that, and that was when we talk about an app. Yeah. Movies were the Avengers of Fiddy War. Really? Okay. Mm. Uh, and, then, and then whatever this game was, I have no idea what these games are. Yeah, so. yeah, I know the games. You know the games? Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I've got, uh, yeah, just because my son. <laughs> There's the only reason I know those games. But uh, yeah, yeah. It's, uh, it's, uh, uh, I mean, the top app, though, I thought was cool. Yeah. Drops. Yeah. 31 languages, new languages. I mean, the one I've always thought of is Duolingo. Uh, I thought Duolingo yeah. was the go-to. That was, I thought it was, but apparently, apparently there's not. Yeah, some other bits. Um, the other thing that interests me about this was people were downloading movies and TV shows on their phone. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> which which would be interesting to see the split from tablet to uh, to mobile, right? Because yeah. Google yeah. Play is, is obviously for, for both, but... Um, yeah. Yeah, I don't know who's doing that. I don't know who's buying movies I, on, on their device. I have no idea. Some people are. So. That's where people are. So. Uh, I, th yeah. I just thought it was interesting. It was an interesting thing. And, and again, yeah. the, the whole language thing. Now, fantastic. And the audio books on there as well. well did, now, this was interesting because when I'm looking at the audio books, mm. I thought, okay, you know, when, when you look at your uh, e-books, and audiobooks, I thought they would be very similar, but no, yeah. the the top five audiobooks and the top five ebooks are different books. Yeah, I just I wonder if it's different audience, you know. I wonder. I, I that could be. What do you think? Probably. 
I mean, I, I do you you audio books or not as a rule at this point? I'm not a big audio book guy. No, I mean I'm up on Audible, um, and I get two free. I've got yeah, I'm on month, the same so. thing, but I don't use it, and that's the uh, I don't know why. I, I probably should be using it. I think that's yeah. Uh, speaking of Microsoft products, uh, it's moving on swiftly, and then we got to we got to wrap up soon. Actually, right? Okay. Yeah, but, but Microsoft. Another reason why you want to be using those products, and let's yeah. face it, at the end of the day, maybe a lot of people aren't haven't migrated yeah. over yet to a Surface Pro or yeah, yeah. a Surface or a Surface Go, as I would strongly recommend. Yeah. But uh, Microsoft has announced that they are adding Skype. Uh, sorry, subtitles to Skype and PowerPoint. Right, okay. And I thought this is, so they're using uh, speech to text AI to record what's being said in real time during a presentation or video call. And then you have the option of changing languages, et cetera, but it'll add it to what you're, if you're doing a PowerPoint, it'll put it up on the screen as you're doing it. Okay. And I thought, now this Did is getting- Did you think why? Well, I think, I, why would they want to do that? Yeah. So I was thinking about that, yeah. and then I thought, especially in a place like Dubai, yeah. this makes a lot of sense. You're doing a, a conference, you're, yeah. you're doing the song and dance, you're presenting something, you got your PowerPoint up there, mm. and you're doing it, and you've got five different people who are in the audience from different parts of the, of the world yeah. who might have different levels of ability to understand English, or they sure. might understand English, but then your accent, my accent, yeah. uh, someone from Germany with an accent, and they might miss a little bit of it. So yeah. suddenly they've got, if, if, if they can read it in the- They'll pull down. They yeah, I mean, I, I, didn't think, I suppose I didn't think of that because they said that it's got uh, AI powered tool which supports 12 spoken languages yeah. and be able to display 60 languages. Yeah. So I guess, yeah, if I want to do my, my presentation in English. So I thought this was like amazing. And you can automatically hit a wide audience. Yeah. Yeah, no, I, I, so that, I really think that makes sense. I think it's really cool. Yeah. What yeah, a great cool. idea. Yeah. And again, a, yeah. an actual application of AI yeah. that could work for everyone. I was thinking actually in my classes, I have to look to see if it'll do Arabic and I didn't look to see that. But I, I've kind of shied away. I'm like totally old school. I used to use a lot of uh, Keynote. I used to use a lot of PowerPoint. Yeah. And I almost use none of it. I have them and yeah. I'll give them to them. Slides. I, I don't even use that. I use a whiteboard with a whiteboard marker. Oh, you don't do presentations anymore? Not a, not a whole lot of them, no. No, okay. Yeah, no, I'm still doing presentations, obviously, from a client perspective, but yeah, uh, yeah we, but you see my presentations, but, uh, yeah. it's just images and GIFs. So. And so I've, I've really gone back to the whiteboard. I saw Gary right. Vee's using flip charts. Yeah, and, no, I, I, yeah, I, I mean, find, I do, yeah. My I, point is that I find it keeps people's attention yeah, more. gets them involved, more of a workshop environment. And, and they have something to take notes yeah. from, as opposed to them thinking, oh, I'm just going to give it all to you, and here you go, yeah. and I don't need to actually engage. So from a student perspective, yeah. it forces them to take notes, forces them to engage. That's great, yeah. I mean, I, I'll be honest with you, any time I do a presentation, it's, it's almost comical, comical <laughs> because, uh, you know, the organizers will say, can you send me a presentation? Yeah. But like, yeah, no problem. Yeah. And, and they'll send it, and it will literally have 72 images. Yeah. Uh, you know, yeah there's no use to us. From 70s, 80s reference. And, yeah. and I'll, I'll actually get people after a presentation, say, oh, can you send us a presentation I'm thinking clearly you haven't watched it yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know because because it will make zero sense to you yeah. um, I did actually it, it happened one time uh, with with obviously uh, Ravi who's who's a partner at Nexa as well and um, I, I fell sick and I was supposed to be presenting in uh, <laughs> so <you> <laughs> presenting <laughs> in, in Germany and um, and he he <laughs> he, 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 he went uh, he was going with me anyway yeah and um, um, he said, well, look, let me take a look at the presentation on the plane. And he did. And I got a message in the morning. I was like, yeah, thanks. And, and he just had to rewrite the whole thing. <laughs> yeah. no so it's, to me, this is actually a reason why I might go back to using some of these. Presentation, yeah, yeah. Well, using the tool, yeah. what I'll put on yeah. the slides, it's a lot like what you do. But yeah. at yeah. least it's going to transcribe yeah, what transcribe. I'm saying. Yeah, it's nice. kind I like of cool it. idea. So. Yeah, I like it. Uh, I don't exactly, I'd like to see how it works. Got to be honest, so sometimes when I present, I don't want to remember what I said. Well, that's the other side. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm not saying I wanted to yeah. fly out here at Spotify. And I think we're, we're on, I think our podcast is actually on Spotify Yeah, it as is well. Spotify, yeah, I think so, yeah. yeah. Uh, this is an interesting thing because when you look at Spotify, obviously it's a streaming service. Yeah. And they're testing a feature for Android users that'll let you upload music from your phone mm. to the app. Yeah. So that suddenly you can create these very eclectic mixes yeah. that otherwise you wouldn't have. And I thought that's a yeah, whole different change. Yeah, it's pretty cool. There's, there's still you know, some recording artists that don't allow their music on streaming yeah. services. It's pretty limited now. I think Pink Floyd were holding out yeah. on Spotify, but they, they kind of went across to that. Um, yeah, I mean, it's... Uh, actually, the first time when I was traveling, when I was back, um, I... I 
I'd, I never used the download offload offline facility on Spotify, but yeah. uh, I thought I'd, I'd have to when I was back because I didn't, you know, I don't want. I don't know how. I don't think. I don't think streaming Spotify uses up much data. But I'm not aware. Yeah, I've um, tested. I mean, yeah, I'm always I've, leery of all these streaming things because yeah. I'm worried about my data. No, no, here I don't care. I've got 20 I, gigs. I mean, it's very rare. That I only I'll, have three. No, no, I've got 20. I mean, you need to upgrade that. That's insane. <laughs> um, but, uh, but, but yeah, with 20, it's very rare that I'll hit the limit. But also, we use it for I'll you know. I'll tell you how. As well. I'll tell you how much I've used. Actually. Oh, you've got it on uh, the. Uh, I, I do have a, got it on the app there. I do have the app. Let's. I'll tell you what I'm yeah. at. No, and I'm just about to expire for the month, so I'm uh, I'm getting up there. It's waiting to connect. It's looking for the information. I have, ooh, see, I've, I've used up quite a bit of storage. I've got uh, 1.52 gigs remaining <laughs> yeah, okay. of my three. All right, fair enough. Yeah, so no. half. Half. But then I'm always worried about streaming stuff. So half, and it's full for the month. <laughs> yeah. Are you on a monthly billing cycle? Yeah, but my monthly billing cycle is on the seventh. Oh, okay. So <laughs> yeah. For the first, I was like, you might need to upgrade <laughs> that twenty gig. <laughs> oh man. Uh, one last thing. University of Buffalo did a survey of students, and they found that students preferred food deprivation over smartphone deprivation. Yeah. And so this worry, is, isn't students it? between eighteen and twenty-two choose chose their phones over food. Yeah, that's a worry. That's a, that's a huge worry. When, yeah. I mean, really? There, there was, uh, I'm trying to remember the guy's name. You may, it may come to you, but he was saying something interesting. He said, go around uh, an office nowadays, and he said, the kind of older people will have their laptop here and da-da-da, and the phones will be somewhere. Yeah. He said, young people will have their phone like there. Right, so this is, this is literally right in front of the computer. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. they're watching so it. So it's kind of like always oh, on the Pavlov, yeah. you know, the... Yeah. Kind of, yeah. No, my students are like that. They can't put them away. Yeah, they're, yeah. I mean, I, they're, I, I, them. Um, they're walking with them. They're, well, one of the things I've tried to do lately is is keep my phone in my pocket at a meeting. Yeah, that's a good thing. Because uh, or turn them down. So yeah. turn them around so they're just there. But you know, you can't turn them on away. Yeah. yeah. Andrew, we got to wrap up uh, Tech Talk. Okay. We'll, we'll do it all again really soon. Uh, website will be up soon. But in the meantime, Podaholics, that's with a K, at gmail.com. And you can find us on all the socials, including YouTube, yep. at Podaholics with a K. Talk to you soon. Yeah, thanks.